Hi, my name is Eloisa Amado Romero. I'm an outreach and recruitment counselor at California State University Fullerton. Um, today, we're going to be covering about how to start your application um, in the Cal State Apply website. Um, and in this application, you're going to be able to uh, submit to all 23 different campuses. And we also wanted to share that this coming fall semester, fall 2020, we'll be having live and recorded webinars. Um, so if you have any questions, please uh, follow us. Uh, please scan the QR code and it will send you to our website where you can register for the uh, sessions. Uh, the sessions will be um, from Financial Aid, California Dream Act, FAFSA, um, as well as how to uh, apply for uh, the Cal State's uh, application, uh, CSUF highlights, um, and then also admission requirements. So we have a lot of different webinars uh, we'll be hosting this coming fall. So make sure that you um, you uh, register, register for them. And we also will be having some in Spanish as well. And then of course, connect with us uh, in our social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you have any questions, please definitely feel free to reach out to us by uh, phone and also by email. Um, we are currently remotely. So uh, if you leave a voicemail, we'll get back to you. So let's get started with the application. So the way that you're gonna go, uh, you can go do a Google search uh, and you're gonna Google uh, Cal State. Cal State apply. And then uh, many options will show up, of course. Um, but then you're gonna click here on the first link. This will send you to the Cal State apply, the CSU system um, website. This website is really helpful because this is where you're gonna submit your application. Um, but it also gives you a lot of different resources from all the campuses. Um, so if you're a transfer student, a, a freshman, a graduate student, international student, or if you're thinking of doing the teaching credential, you can click here and it gives you a lot of different resources. Um, in the website, you can also uh, find out from their different campuses, also degrees, um, how to get into the CSU, and also how to apply for school. Um, like I mentioned, this is a really good tool for high school students, for the parents, for uh, counselors um, to use because there's so many different options um, and resources. Also here, you're gonna be able to find uh, what's the update, um, update situations on uh, COVID-19 as well as admissions requirements and anything that has changed that has impacted the whole um, the CSU system. So let's get started with the application. So the way you're gonna do uh, right now, um, the application, remember the application for Fall uh, 2021 opens October 1st um, to December 4th. This is the new date. The, this is the date for this coming fall. Um, so remember the application. If you're applying, if you're a senior right now, and you're or you're a transfer student, um, and you're planning to transfer to the Cal State system by fall 2020. Um, sorry, fall 2021. You will have to do the application this year, right, on October, uh, starting October 1st to December 4th. Um, so like I mentioned, you're gonna go here. The application right now is not open because it opens on October 1st. So you will just click on here, um, for example, fall 2020, right? Um, but it will be fall 2021. And then you're gonna click apply. And then it will send you to this website. Um, if you already created an account, then you will just log in. If you haven't created an account, then you will just create an account. Um, once you create it, once you go here, it's very important. It's very important for people to know that you have to fill everything with a little star next to it. If it doesn't have a star, like for example, the title, it's not a requirement. We encourage students to fill as much as possible because even if it doesn't have the star, the star, uh, the more information you can submit, the better for for the services of the university. So here, we're gonna start the application and we're gonna um, follow um, all the, um, the little stars, right? Um, and then make sure that you save and remember what your password was, what your, um, what your email is, right? Um, just so you, if in case you had to log in and you forgot your password, you have access to that email or you have written the password down. It's very, very simple. So once you have uh, written everything down, um, this link right here will turn, um, will turn blue and then it will allow you to move forward to the next step.
All right, so as you can see right now, I have filled out all my information um, and I have um, put the information of all the, the, the things that has a star next to it. Um, because I have done so, it has allowed me to create an account. So now that I, I can create an account, I can go to the next step. I'm going to click continue. And then this is very important for you to, to know. So if you are a senior right now, um, you will be selecting a first bachelor's degree. Um, it's very important for you to know which you're selecting because if, uh, this is what determines the application's questions. Um, so if you are a senior, it will allow you to, um, you will click first bachelor's, right? Um, seeking your first bachelor's degree and have not earned a prior bachelor's degree. Um, so you will click here. If you're a senior in high school right now and applying to a four year university, you will click here. Um, and then also if you are a transfer student, you will also be clicking here. It says, which of the following, which of the following best describes your current education studies? So if you're a high school senior, right, will be graduating high school or equivalent, right? If you're a transfer student, right, you will be clicking either this, this option or the other option, correct? So if you're a high school student, you'll be here, clicking here, and then it asks you how you're taking any earned college credit through the community colleges. If you have done so, um, this is what you will click yes, right? Because remember, the answers you click here, it will allow you to have the questions later on the application, so you have college credit, right? But if I click um, transferring with the associate's degree, right? Associate degree for transfer, uh, you will click on this section and it will tell you which community colleges and as well as also what ADT you're receiving. And then if you're just transferring uh, from the community college or a four year institution without the ADT, you will just click here. Okay, and then like I mentioned earlier, just follow all the questions that they're asking, right? So, um, and then um, especially if they have the start next to it. If you don't answer the questions next to the start, it's not gonna allow you to save and continue your application. All right, so now that I have clicked um, save, they send me to this page. Um, here I'm gonna select the campus I'm gonna be applying to. So um, if you it will give you all 23 different campuses. Right now it's not giving me the option for all 23 different campuses because I select the fall 2020 and that term has already passed. But all of these campuses should be able to pop up. So uh, I'm gonna be give, uh, put an example, Humble State. Um, and then I'm going to be able to select the class, I uh, mean, sorry, the major that I'm applying to. Um, so when you're ready to click Fullerton, you will click uh, Fullerton name here, right? Um, and it will allow you, it will, it will give you an option to um, do whatever program you're, you're applying to and that is open at that, at that moment. So I'm going to do business administration um, and I'm going to put, uh, I'm done reviewing this, my section, right? And then it's gonna give you allow, allow you to continue your application or add more applications, more uh, program selection. So remember, uh, you can add all 23 different campuses. Um, remember the application fee is $70. So if you, um, uh, for each campus, so if you add 10 campuses, that's gonna be seven, uh, $700, right? Um, so if you add three campuses, it's gonna be 21, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, $2, uh, $210, right? So it just adds up. And then we'll talk about the fee waiver in a little bit um, uh, because you can get a fee waiver uh, just depending on the information that you submit. Um, so when you can do, uh, once you have selected all the campus you wanna to apply to, you um, can go to continue my application. You can always go back and add more programs. Um, so you can add more programs here and it will take you back to the original page here and you will just add more programs, right? Um, you can add or delete programs as well. And then um, we saw a little bit of the information here. Uh, how this is the how the Cal State Apply application looks like. Um, as you can see here, we have four quadrants, right, that you have to select from. Um, you have personal information, academic history, supporting information, and program materials. Um, as you can see here, uh, once the whole quadrant has been fully completed, it will turn green, and then you're going to be able to submit your application at that point, okay? Um, 
it's very important for students to fill everything out and be able to submit the application. As you can see here, um, this application has not been completed because it's not completely green all the way to the um, to the check mark, right, a little bar, and you'll not be able to submit into complete fully the application. So it's important to check those things. Um, also, once you have created the application, you're going to have the CAS ID. As you can see here, this CAS ID is very important because just in case your application gets misplaced or it didn't submit or anything like that, you can always contact the Cal State Apply um, IT support or you can contact the university you're applying to, give them the, your CAS ID. Um, so make sure you please write it down. And then once you have submitted, you can also check the status of the application. So it's very, very important for you to have this information as well. Um, and then uh, one thing that I wanted to share is that we do have the help desk. We do have my profile, my data, external profile, payment history, and then also signing off. Um, here, I wanted to talk about the extended profile. So sometimes um, students, when they fill out the application, they put that they have uh, graduated, right? Or um, they're applying for a teaching credential or a graduate graduate program. Um, so if, if that's the case or that you put that you have earned college credit, um, if that's the case and you want to come back, you can come back to this section and fix it here um, because it's going to allow you to fix any errors from questions that are actually in the application. So if for some reason you put that you're a transfer student, but you're not a transfer student, you are graduating high school, right? You can go back to extended education, extended profile, right? It will take you to this page and then you can fix the error that you did. Um, or students that are uh, transferring with an ADT, but then they didn't take a class, right? Or something like that. They can come back here and um, just switch um, from transferring from an ADT to uh, transferring from community college, right? Remember the ADT is a plus, it's not a requirement for transferring. Um, and then once you have done those, those changes, make, make sure you click save, um, save for the changes, okay? Um, and then you can go back and start the application. So we wanted to share our contact information, um, just in case you have any questions, you can reach out to <clears throat> us as counselors. You can also reach out to admissions, orientation, campus stores, financial aid, housing, and the transfer center that we have at Cal State Fullerton. Um, we have, we will be doing different um, videos on each quadrant that uh, we talked about the application. This was just an introduction for the application. So if you have any questions, please like uh, send us an email and we'll be more than happy to help you and make sure you follow us on our social media as well.